Hi, I'm Christy. Hi, Christy. I'm Kelly. I'll be your examiner, and this is Bob, your patient. Okay. This is the Patient Assessment Management Medical Skill. In this skill, you will have 15 minutes to perform your assessment, patient interview, and voice treat all conditions discovered. You should conduct your assessment as you would in the field, including communicating with your simulated patient. You may remove the simulated patient's clothing down to his or her shorts or swimsuit if you feel it is necessary. As you progress through this skill, you should state everything you are assessing. Specific clinical information not obtainable by visual or physical inspection, for example blood pressure, should be obtained from the simulated patient just as you would in the out-of-hospital setting. You may assume that you have two partners working with you who are trained to your level of care. They can only perform the interventions you indicate necessary, and I will acknowledge all interventions you order. I may also supply additional information and ask questions for clarification purposes. Do you have any questions? I don't. I will begin now by reading your entry information. Okay. You arrive on scene to find a 43-year-old male patient complaining of chest pain. He is seated on his couch in his home. Okay. BSI. Is the scene safe? Yes. I've got one patient. His nature of illness is chest pain. I am going to call for additional resources, and I am not going to hold C-spine at this time. Um, when I walk in, my general impression is a 43-year-old male sitting in a chair. He appears to be alert. Hi, sir. My name is Christy. I'm from the ambulance service. What's going on today? Chest pain. Okay. He is alert, and his chief complaint is chest pain, and his airway is open. He is talking to me. At this time, I'm going to check his respirations and his pulse for one minute. Respirations are 14 and his pulse was 80. Okay. Your patient's heart rate is 88 beats per minute and your patient's respirations are 16 breaths per minute. Okay. I'm going to apply oxygen by non rebreather mask, uh, 15 liters, and hopefully that will assist his respirations. And I'm going to check, does he have any apparent bleeding? There is no apparent bleeding. I'm going to check his skin color temperature and condition. His skin is pale, cool, and clammy. Okay. He might be going to shock, and I am treating for that right now with the oxygen. I also try to keep him pretty warm. At this point, my patient is a priority patient, and I am going to get going, get transported, and get going and moving on the road. Um, right now, I am going to start some questioning. Sir, what were you doing when this started? I saw it in the garage. Okay. And were you doing anything there? Uh, I was lifting some poles and some shovels around. I was kind of cleaning up a little bit. Okay. Does anything make this worse or better? Seems to be a little better since I sat down. Okay. Um, can you describe what you feel for me? Heavy, really heavy on my chest. Okay. Does it go anywhere else other than your chest? Maybe in my neck a little bit. Okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, if 10 is the worst pain you've ever had, can you tell me what number you're at? Oh, probably a seven. Okay. And what time did this start? Oh, a few minutes ago before we called you. Fifteen, twenty minutes maybe. Okay. Have you taken anything for this today? Mm -mm. Okay. And have you ever felt anything like this before? Um, not really. Okay. Um, do you have any allergies? Uh, no. Okay. How about medications? Yeah, they give me something here the last time I was at the doctor. I'm not even sure what it is. Okay. Do you know what it's for? I think it was supposed to be something for this chest discomfort, but... Okay. Would it be a, called nitroglycerin? Does that yeah, sound that familiar? Yeah, that sounds right. That okay. sounds right. Anything else? Any other medications you take every day? Mm, no. Okay. Can you tell me about your past medical history? Um, they said something about when I was at the doctor the last time with this chest discomfort that it might be... An, 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 oh, angina? Oh, yeah. That's okay. what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Anything else? Any other history? Mm. Breathing problems, seizures, no, strokes, diabetes? No. No? Okay. How about the last time you ate? How long ago was it and what did you have? I had some breakfast this morning. I, I'm a light eater. I had a slice of toast and uh, half a banana. Okay. And then what were you doing again? Can you tell me more about what you were doing in the garage before this started? I was lifting stuff around and moving stuff um, and just doing my cleaning really, you know, nothing okay. big. Okay. I'm going to do some things here. I'm going to push on your chest. Can you tell me if that hurts at all? Not really. No? Can you take a really big breath for me and tell me if that hurts at all? 
It doesn't really change, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm also gonna listen to my breath sounds really quick. Just take some big breaths in while I listen here. Okay, what I hear is clear and equal bilaterally. And that is what your patient presents with. Okay, right now I'm not thinking it's musculoskeletal and I'm not thinking it's anything respiratory. I'm leaning more towards a cardiac event going on here. Um, I do have his pulse. It was, can you tell me again? His heart rate was 88 beats okay. per minute. I do want to take his blood pressure. Sir, I'm going to take your blood pressure in here and see how, see how your blood pressure is doing. Sure. Am I having a heart attack or something? You know, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm doing my best to figure that out and taking mm -hmm. good care of you, okay? All right, all right. blood pressure of 124 over 82. Okay, and your patient's blood pressure is 120 over 80. Okay. Um, his respiratory rate, can you tell me again? Uh, 16 breaths per minute. Okay. My field impression of this patient is he's having some kind of cardiac event, whether it's angina or a cardiac um, a heart attack, I'm not sure, but I think we do need to get some nitroglycerin for him to see if it will help. I'm going to call medical control at this time and state that I have a 43-year-old male. He's experiencing some chest pain. He has a history of angina. His blood pressure is 120 over 80. And see if they okay us giving some nitroglycerin. And they do. Okay. I'm going to take his nitroglycerin. Sir, is this yours? I believe so, yeah. Okay. And it's not expired. So we're going to give him a spray of nitroglycerin. Sir, I'm going to give you a spray of this right under your tongue. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Nice. So go ahead and raise your tongue up and I'll give you a spray. Okay. I'd wait about five minutes and I would recheck his blood pressure. Okay, his blood pressure remains 120 over 80. Okay, and sir, what's your pain now? What number? Uh, I don't know, maybe a four or a five maybe. Okay, well since he still has pain and his blood pressure is over 120, we're gonna give him another spray of nitro. I'm gonna call medical control and see if they okay that. Um, they authorize a second dose. Okay. So we're gonna do one more of these sprays here. Can you put your tongue up to the roof of your mouth All please? Right. I'd again wait five minutes and what's his blood pressure now? Uh, his blood pressure is now 98 systolic over 52 diastolic. And sir, what's your pain level at now? It was a four before, now what's it at? It's maybe a one or a two. It feels actually pretty good, actually. Okay. Well, since his blood pressure is under 100, we can't give you any more nitroglycerin, so I think we're going to keep transporting on our way in. Um, I'm going to reassess this patient every five minutes because he is an unstable patient with chest pain and we have given him some nitroglycerin. I'm going to keep a really close eye on his pain level and his blood pressure. And when the EMS unit gets here or when I get to the hospital, I give him a report. I'd say I've got a 43-year-old male experiencing chest pain. He does have a history of angina and he has his own nitroglycerin. When we got there, um, he was in quite a bit of pain. We did get a blood pressure of 120 over 80 and his respiratory rate and pulse were of average or of normal rates. And we did apply or give two sprays of nitroglycerin on the way in. His pain did go down after the two nitroglycerins. The last blood pressure check, his systolic blood pressure was 98. And I'm done with the station. Thank you. Thanks.